There's a little bit of history to this art? Yep, it goes back a really long way. It goes back to the 18th century. Um, and there were floor cloth factories, in fact, set up near sail, sail makers because they both used the same kind of um, wide canvas. And they were around for about 200 years and they were finally replaced by linoleum. Okay, that's why it, that's why it does look a little bit like a floor covering, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, uh, how, what's, uh, how does the process go? It starts off with a heavy canvas, like, like this. This is 17 ounce canvas. It's a bit heavier than the canvas that you use to paint paintings for the wall. And it's stretched on um, my table here, which is a 12 by 8 table. I do a lot of really big things, so it has to be that big. And it's stapled down, and then it's primed with the latex acrylic, the same stuff that you paint your house with. Once on the back, and two times on the front. In this case, it was black. And then the edges are folded over and glued so that it sits flat and that it's heavier. And then the actual artwork is done. In this case, I'm doing a floral thing that my inspiration came from some fabric from the 50s. And um, it's a good excuse to use some really, really luscious color on a black background. And it always looks good. And when I finish painting this, I'm going to coat it with two coats of oil-based varathane, the same as a hardwood floor finish, so that it will be really durable and you can walk on it and you can clean it easily. Where do you get more, the most of your ideas for your, to do these art? Is it strictly something that come to you with this? Um, a lot of my work is custom now, so um, I'm, I'm either copying something that they've given me, like fabric, or uh, just picking up the flavor of something not necessarily doing the exact same thing, but at least picking up the colors and the, just the flavor of the design. Um, <coughs> so a lot of my designs come from what, what other people want me to do. What does it usually take you to do a piece? Depends on the size. This particular one is four by six feet, and it will take about a week from beginning to end. Um, I won't be working on it the entire week because there's quite a lot of drying time. It's a couple of days drying time anyway. So in that week, how many hours is it, like a 40 hour week to make a um, 40 hour week? Well, again, it depends on the size. This is probably, it's probably like at least five days work. Okay. Can you make a living doing this? Um, just. Okay. <laughs> um, you, uh, okay, let's try a different angle. How many pieces have you done over the course of your... Um, well, I would have to say thousands. I, l I stopped counting a long time ago, but um, at least 1,000 anyway. Is that right? What was your first piece? My first piece, um, well, my first five pieces went to friends for a Christmas present um, about seven years ago, and not one of them would put it on the floor. Some of them put it on the table, and one of them is still on this friend's table. Um, some went on the walls. Um, so is this uh, floor art that's actually framed and it's on a wall? In yeah. Some cases? Yeah, and it makes a good table cover too. Yeah. Uh, what's the largest piece? Of I think twelve by fifteen feet. Okay. So uh, do we go on to yeah, we're going to the gold leaf floor. Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the things I do a lot. It's something I used to do when I when I did faux finishes and gold leaf ceilings and things like that. I um, I use gold and copper leaf. And usually, um, I often use it in a frame situation like this because I think of my my floor cloths as paintings with frames. So, um, like a painting that you put on the floor in a gold frame. And this is not gold paint; it's actually gold leaf. And uh, it's a it's a metal roll, really thin. This one's copper, actually. It's like aluminum foil, but even even um, thinner than that put on with a with a glue called gold leaf size stuck on this piece here in the harlequin design is done in gold leaf on black and i've done another step to this i've put an acid on it to give it that antique look first it was painted green underneath and you can still see a little bit of the green showing and uh, a little bit coming through that's gold leaf with um, barium sulfide, which is a really horrible smelling toxic 
um, thing that you pour on it. Anyway, but it makes a nice effect. It etches the, um, the leaf. This could be anything. These don't show what they really are. Um, um, I've got my two, uh, my two examples over there, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. These are the, the, the tools of the trade event. Yeah, the, the paint that I use is um, latex acrylic, um, house paint. I can't really be using little bits of paint in tubes or little containers because I go through gallons and gallons and gallons. Um, yeah, this is a latex acrylic eggshell finish. If you use a flat finish, it will crack. And the finish is an oil-based verithane. Okay, is there a reason you wouldn't use like a, like a, a, a oil paint right from the scratch? Or? Yep, lots of reasons. One is that it smells horrible, and it's, well, it's toxic. It's very slow drying, so you, you, you'd have to wait like 12 hours before you go over something. With latex, it dries in, you know, 10 minutes. Well, if, um, it's a combination of two fabrics that the people gave me. This one and this, a floral and a check, which go together nicely in this you can see, yeah, okay. Well, I've been a musician most of my life. I started playing piano before I started school, so when I was three or four, I would go to my, my she had a piano and I would play, pick off tunes from the radio, so they noticed that I had an ear, so I began taking lessons when I was five, and I did ten years of classical, and then I got into rock and roll, which was the music of the day, of the time, and I spent about 20 years playing live in clubs and recording. Uh, I noticed you were signed. I noticed a couple of posters in the bands. Mm -hmm. What are some of the main bands? That well, a lot of them were, well, they were Australian bands, so here you wouldn't have heard of them. Um, they didn't become so famous that you, that you would have heard of them. Did you get a little bit of local fame? Hmm? A little bit of local fame? Local? Regional, regional thing? Um, how do you mean? Uh, well, were they playing the tunes on the radio in Australia? Um, yeah, some oh. of them. <laughs> and some of them you were No sensitive. big hits, though. Yeah. Nothing to retire on. Maybe you just lift up some of these pieces. So can you see them from there? Because yep. I could, you know, I could slide them so that you'd end up seeing each one, like this. Or how should I do it? And if I move them to the left, is that okay? Yeah, cool. All right. Should I say anything? Yeah, sure, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about <laughs> Well, here are some small pieces. These are something that might, well, this one's so small, it should probably just go on a table or something like that. Um, they might go in front of the kitchen sink or inside of the front door. Just these are about two feet by three and a half. And this is a variety of designs. No. These are some that I have made for the big shows, like the one of a kind show, and I have to have about a hundred pieces. What is yeah. one of kind? What is it? Yeah. Is it an Oh, it's a it's a huge craft show that's held. Um, there's a spring and a Christmas. The one spring is usually around Easter, and the Christmas one is the end of November, de uh, beginning of December, and it's been running for twenty, over twenty years. Is that here in town? Mm -hmm. And it has been held in the, um, the automotive building for the last, well, many, many years. And as of this Christmas, it will move to the new convention center. Okay. Uh, now, you mentioned you had some shows outside of Canada. Is there anything? No, not outside of, outside of Canada, but outside of Toronto. Oh, okay. Like Vancouver, Ottawa. Oh, okay. And when was the last time you were in Vancouver? 
Um, two Christmases ago. And what was the show there? Was it another one of a kind? Or? Well, it's run by different people. It's called, um, I think it's called Circle Craft or something, but it's, it's the, their big uh, Christmas craft show. And where is it held? That building with the sails on the top. It's Convention oh, Center, okay, isn't okay. it? Yes, yes, I know what it's called. I know, <laughs> I know the building. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the good. one on the water. What about these bigger ones that you saw last time? Like oh, okay. these? Should I throw them out? Throw them over those? Yeah. Some people stand behind their work, and you yeah, stand. Yeah, I on stand your work. on mine. Okay. And here I am walking on it.